Hello everybody, just one moment, screen one, okay, here we are, back into D-Ranks Team League action, it is the D-Ranks Team League Season 3, I am Birdie and we're going to be casting the final game between Stealth Bunnies and the All Kill Kings. So far the teams are tied with both the teams having two victories, let's just make sure everybody realizes that we're streaming, okay, so We've had LCC winning against Zero Chrome, Resty losing to Tyrant, Ice Draco losing to Legendary, and Birdie, myself, that's right, I am Stealth Bunny's Birdie, winning against Bad Seed. The final game is UED The Marine versus Artanis XP. Now, let's just get started. We don't have any stats this time because, well, stats would require enough forethought to be ready for that sort of thing. The game is on Fighting Spirit, which I'm sure everybody knows what Fighting Spirit is. Fighting Spirit is the map which everybody plays, and it's a little bit boring, but hey, that's what we're going to live with. Okay, just a moment, setting it up. Okay. Here we go. It's Artanis XP versus the Marine. The, the Marine is the red Protoss in the bottom left position and Artanis XP is the brown zerg in the top left position. And we have a lot of typing by these players as they do their early game micro or not depending on the situation. <sighs> Having a little bit of early chat talking about some exploits of the Zo player Artanis who's playing for Team All Kill Kings. For anyone who just tuned in, this is the D Ranks Team League Season 3. It is match uh, game 5 of the match between Team All Kill Kings and Stealth Bunnies, and I am Stealth Bunnies Birdie. Marine is the red Protoss and Artanis is the brown zerg. We've got a spawning pool coming down on 9 so it's a 9 pool and both players are going to scout in the wrong direction. We've got a forge fast expand coming down for the Marine. If you're watching the stream right now go find someone else to come and watch. I know we've got a gateway first expand coming down and the spawning pool is on its way. Neither player has scouted each other yet although this overlord will eventually make it to the Protoss base and see what is up. What's up, as it were. Now we've got no drone scouts so far. The pool is well on its way. And the gateway is nearly finished. There's the second gateway, so we're seeing a two-gate expand on the map Fighting Spirit. The probe has still not discovered the Zerg base, but he knows exactly where it is now, unless Artanis suddenly managed to relocate his starting location, which would be very unfortunate for both players involved. Now the hatchery is going down. It could actually be in the middle here because the, the probe hasn't scouted the middle. Could be like a random start location there. Anyway, we have the second base for Artanis, which is in the natural of his game. We've got two gates. One of them is producing a zealot. And I've been informed that it is a two gate rush by the marine but it's against a 9 pool, so it may not be that effective, although there is an expansion here for him to try and take advantage of. If it's a rush, I don't see why, because there's just one zealot just chilling here. These two zealots are going to take some time. However, I... We will see. We will see. The probe is seeing what's up, having a little bit of a scout, and that hatchery is nearly finished. These zerglings are running into the base, but there's no way they're going to get in. What with all these zealots and probes blocking everything, the zerglings are going down and they are running away. There's three zealots out. I'm going to turn D and D on just a second. Okay, so the hatchery is down and the three zealots are pushing towards <laughs> they are pushing towards Artanis' base. The probe is still alive. We've got a hatchery coming down and more zerglings are pumping out constantly. And we've got the creep colonies coming down, but these these zealots, what are they doing turning back? If they keep pushing forward, they'll be able to easily... Ah, I see, that's why they're pushing back, because of these zerglings which are sniping 
what is known commonly as the Artosis Pylon because it was powering those two gateways and now it's gone so there's no more unit production there's three probes four probes on their way down here to build that one pylon back up and to put down an engine presumably these zealots have doing some pressure in the base of of Artanis those sunkens are up but the zealots have ran past and there is a sunken coming down and the drones and zerglings are going to be trying to kill off the zealot but he's keep <laughs> but the marine is keeping them carefully positioned He's piling up a lot of minerals, but those two gateways are back online, so he'll be able to produce more zealots. He's macroing his zealots and trying to kill as many of these zerglings as possible, as well as take out that spawning pool, but that's not going to happen. The expansion is coming down for the marine, and this expansion is not mining at all, so that actually leaves a Protoss with more mining bases than a zerg player. There's not many drones here at all, but there are quite a lot of zerglings, and which will be able to take down these two engine zealots fairly easily. However, the marine is in a fairly strong position with just about two bases coming up and a, a lot of drone kills compared to uh, his probe count which is pretty high pretty high being a very precise number there is a drone here just chilling perhaps to lay down a third but this probe is going to spot it the zerglings are running down towards the base and there are three zealots here protecting which should be adequate Simon unit score is coming down there's four zealots and no more being produced. The zerglings are coming, the zerglings are attacking, but the zealots are coming out and they are able to keep themselves alive against. There's more zealots coming out on the way. The Nexus is trying to be sniped by the zerglings, but that's not going to happen with these four zealots staying active and keeping themselves alive. This probe is still able to see everything that's going on here, seeing this drone and realizing what is up because that zergling is, that drone is looking to place down an expansion sometime. These zealots are keeping everything alive. And that nexus is complete. Two more zealots have, comp have completed, so there are now six zealots versus only a few zerglings. So it looks like the marine will be able to hold off this pressure quite easily. We're going away. He's trying to just have a second. We can see less advantage with the amount of workers that each player has been producing. And we have got lots of lag which is absolutely lovely. Hopefully that will settle in a moment. Sorry about that, everybody. Whoa, lag. Epic lag. There's a Stargate on its way. The Zerglings have done a run-by. The Zerglings have done a run-by. And they are seeing the Stargate. The probes are being pulled. They're doing a drone drill. These slow zealots are slowly getting on their way here, but finally Artanis is able to do some damage, but he's only taken down one probe. Is he going to take down any more probes? No other probes are taken down. There's only one probe kill there, which is very unfortunate because he's lost all his zerglings now. He has got no more ground forces on the map, and he is only producing drones as much as possible, but his, his economy is severely damaged by that initial two-gate pressure, and the Marines... The economy is doing quite well, he's able to tick up and he's got both expanders running quite adequately. <sighs> These overlords are making a move, they are making a move. Here comes the mm, expansion over here as the drone tries to hide as the probe scout goes by and does not see him, which will assume very clever of Atanas here to hide his drone there. Here come the zealots, they're pushing against these two sunkens and there's just not enough to defend. The zerglings are on their way, but and the drones are being pulled, the drones are being pulled to take on, but these sunkens are still going to go down. There are just so many zealots there. <laughs> they're dying to the drones though, it's incredible. They're trying to push forward, but there's just too many drones in the way. One manages to get through, two manage to get through, but the others will be sniped, but there are two more zealots on the way. <laughs> um, running back, five zealots managed to get away, two of them on extremely low health, some of them on full health, and these two zealots are still alive, and they're going to make a run in and try and kill some more of these, perhaps the spawning pool or the hatchery, but there's a lot of zerglings out here, and they're just going to get overwhelmed. The drone, the drone is still here, and it's coming forward to do an expansion when he gets enough minerals. That third will be up, and the probe has not scouted it, so he doesn't. He is not aware of exactly where it is, although he may be, may be aware that there is an expansion somewhere out there. So we're now seeing a three base zerg against a two base protoss. However, the economy of the protoss is quite strong, especially with these three drones just chilling out here, not even bothering to mind because Artanis has got this in the bag. He doesn't even have to worry, except that there's Corsairs on the way. Corsairs are coming down, and there is no anti-air. There's a spire on its way, but it's a long way away. There's no evolution chamber, no hydralis. So this Corsair is going to be able to run around and kill these overlords, which is going to hamper the economy and the speed of which he's able to... There's a hydralis coming down. The Corsairs, though, are going to be able to kill quite a lot of these 
overlords which are just chilling around the base. <laughs> These zerglings are putting on some pressure but they are not able to do much at all. They nearly sniped one gateway and but the zealots were able to drive them off. The third is almost complete and that that overlord goes down. More overlords are presumably being produced somewhere, one would hope, because the, the Corsair is eventually going to find more overlords like these three just sitting here and do them some damage and that is quite painful damage as in it is killing them, you know, they'd be dead. Zealot's coming forward to do some pressure here and there is not much defending, there's a Hydralisk and a few Zerglings scattered around the map and one sunken colony which is not going to be enough to defend against this there are Zerglings being morphed, there's some more Zerglings being morphed but there are a lot of Zealots here, he's taking down the sunken colony, the drones being pulled, there's Zerglings Zerglings trying to get a surround on them but they're not going to be able to get a surround when there's more Zealots outnumbering them they're pushing against the drones and doing a lot of damage Drones are returning to their main base. L Lurker upgrade is on the way, but that's not going to complete in time because of these so many zealots that are taking down this natural expansion. This third expansion is not up and running because the speed uh, speed is finished. Speed is finished, and this is going to be a very difficult for for our Tynus to be able to defend. The marine has got a lot of zealots here. He's taking down the, the hatchery. And this is going to be a nightmare to defend those larvae and his idol. There is quite a lot of minerals in the bank and gas in the bank, but without his hatcheries and without his overlords, he's finally his overlords are complete and he is going to be able to produce some units, but he only has two hatcheries to produce with. He did get those few lava. Uh, he does have a couple of lava here and he's got the lurkers on the way. So the marine is probably going to have to wait for his observers to come up, but he does have a robotics facility on the way and he has more Corsairs coming out so these overlords are going to get killed unless those Hydrals are able to drive away the... Um, there's no Hydrals because they've all been morphed into Lurkers, the Corsairs are out again and the 50 out of 50 supply and that overlord is going to go down as well these Lurkers are able to... oh wow there's one dra <laughs> five hit points on that Spire there that's unfortunate and the Scourge are taking down that uh, Corsair but there is more Corsair on the way <laughs> somewhere, somewhere, one would presume that this Corsair, there they are, there's three Corsair there and this Spire just needs one more hit to kill it it's unfortunate that it is not going to get hit at this moment although there's the cancel and he's going to see it and hopefully run in and kill it eventually, no he's not, he decided he's just going to let the Spire live because hey, why not this expansion is up and there's another hatchery coming down so there are a bunch of idle drones sitting all over the place because you know Artana still thinks he's got it in the bag even when it's a three base Protoss against a two base Zerg and there is a lot of zealots on the field that creep colony is going to be way too late and there are just so many zealots pouring in here here come the Corsairs, the Corsairs are on their way there's no Hydralist in yet the Hydralist is being produced but it's GG from Artana the Marine takes game five Game 5 is over everybody, the Marine has taken it and that means that Stealth Bunnies has won the team against Team All Kill Kings in the D-Ranks Team League Week 3. Congratulations to Stealth Bunnies and thank you all for watching. Okay, I'm just going to go into chill out mode now because hey, I have a chat with you guys. If you guys, anyone in the tw chat wants to have a talk, you can talk and I'll talk. Yep, Stealth Bunnies won 3-2 against Team Orkill Kill Kings. There was no Orkill Kill this time. With uh, LCC winning and myself winning and the Marine winning against Orkill Kill Kings. <laughs> the Marine is asking for a thank you. Thank you for what? Uh, thank you, the Marine, for everything that you've done to help. And thank you, everyone from Steve Team South Bunnies for helping my team, which is Team South Bunnies, win. <laughs> um, next week we've got uh, a bunch of players playing against, I believe we're playing against Victoria's Secret. Now, let's just have a quick little look-see and see who exactly is on Victoria's Secret and who exactly we're playing against. Um, pum pa dum pa pum there is a site bwcl.de or broodwarclanleague.de which has got the latest results for the D-Ranks Team League and you can also check out the topic on teamliquid.net 
And PWC down appears to be dead. Just gonna get rid of that because that's over. How do we even exit? Ah, be gone, be gone, cruel beast. How do we exit? Be um, this is unfortunate. <laughs> anyway, anyone who's just tuned in, we've completed the the. What you call it? The what you call it? The what you call it? Everybody, the what you call it? The matches. That's right. The games. The games of the match against uh, Team Walker Kings with Team Stealth Bunnies. So we're just chilling out. Um, what do you guys think about my accent? Because I'm from New Zealand and I have no idea whether I'm even understandable or not. For all I know, none of you even understand a word I'm saying, which would be rather unfortunate, but entirely probable. <coughs> A second, taking a drink of my Rockstar juice. Rockstar, so good. Oh yes, first person view. Yes, just a second. I'll turn off this um, overlay thing. Actually, no, I can leave that on, and I will show you guys. I will show you guys the match between me and uh, Bad Seed. I will show it to you. And from my first person, okay. Just a moment while I get that set up. Okay, where is the? View? Oh, it's in some weird format. I think. Uh, let's have a think. Um, um, um. Oh, I know how to do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that'll be easy enough. Gun cam. Macro birdie. I'm sorry, Marine. There's no macro birdie. There's only cheesy birdie. Ha ha ha. Okay, so this is the match which we have seen casted fairly recently. I don't know how do I edit this thing? Um, okay, this is. Oh, where'd it go? This is S B Birdie versus Bad Seed. By the way, everyone, Bad Seed does not think much at all of my ability to play because of that cheese. Anyway, preview video. There it is. Let's move it up and try and get it in position. Surprisingly difficult. Um, you guys aren't going to be able to see everything because <laughs> that's annoying. Um, how do I scale that down? I can't. No, there's no going to be not going to be naked chicks because then I get banned from um, Twitch. Uh, first person view. <laughs> Preview video. Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay, everyone, here it is. Uh, I cannot get it to go up any higher. Sorry. You're going to have to live with that. That's how it goes. Let's have a look, everyone. Whoa, check that lag. Oh, masterful split there. Where can I put this? That's useful. Check that APM, everybody. Wow, so much APM. And there it is. The sixth drone. The sixth drone, everybody. As I six pull against Bad Seed. So awesome. Oh yeah, spamming us so much. <laughs> I don't even know what my AP is. Oh, I think my AP was 161 in this game. Which I'm quite happy with, even though it's all spam. Oh, good mana from Bad Seed. You two, yes, I said you two in the play while I six pull. I have no more drones on the way, and I said you two. Have a good game against my cheesy cheese. Oh, spamming that button because I'm waiting for those minerals because I'm not quite as precise as a pro gamer, unfortunately. I've got that uh, sporting pool hockey, by the way, which you wouldn't be able to notice. See, you notice it there when I tapped it. Oh, yeah, tap. Producing another drone because this is a planned build. I know exactly what I have to do to be able to find everything, and um, I think that's where I messed up my rally points. 
There's the probe. Oh no, it's been scouted. I panicked a little bit at this one. I was like, oh snap, I've been scouted. What am I going to do? He's going to kill me. <laughs> He's going to find my pool and then kill me because I assumed he was going to be a masterful player who's beaten six pool thousand, thousand times before. <laughs> Nobody's even said anything about, ac about, about, my, about my accent, anybody. What do you think about my accent? There's the Zerglings coming down and I rallied them over there but I've noticed that it's over here actually and I still don't reset my rally point so those Zerglings pop out and I still don't even have the rally point set up correctly. Hey, I'm pulling my drones. Oh uh, yeah, I've noticed I only had two so I took the wrong amount of drones there. That was a bit of a mistake. Should have been three drones left behind. There I reset them at any point but those four Zerglings are still going the wrong way. Here's my masterful micro. Gonna try and micro against them. Boom. Chuck that like that. Keeping that drone alive. Oh yeah, here comes the circlings. The drones, <laughs> here's the cannon and I'm like, I don't know if drones can even kill a cannon faster than it builds. But I'm going to do my best. There's another circling coming out and then I, I think it's about here which I noticed that my circlings are not coming through. I'm like, where are the circlings? I called them a long time ago. Oh snap, what are they doing? Oh, make sure that rally point is set up correctly. Move, dronies, move! You're getting killed, you're getting slaughtered by those probes. The hero workers are being heroic and such. I also slightly messed up the macro, and then such that I have an extra like 50 minerals all the time. Oh no, an extra lava, sorry. So here I come, I got more zerglings on the way, running them in, hocking stuff, and all that sort of business, keeping my zerglings pumping out. And he's drone drilling me, but I'm not going to get phased by that. I'm just keeping my hockeys alive and pushing against him. Oh boy! First person view of buddy of me versus Bad Seed in the Dream Reeks D ranks team league. Kill them probies! Yes. So many zerglings. So many zerglings. And there's the Zala, and I was like, oh man, I'm going to lose because there's a Zala, and I don't even know if I'm. And then, like, all these drones dying. Ah, uh, probes dying there. And I'm thinking, ha, I'm sniping drone probes like a pro. So much skill in micro, and I'm like, killing that Zala eventually. And then I like run up and I'm like, nah, because those zerglings are dumb and the probes are killing them. And I keep pumping up those zerglings though, which is incredible that I managed to keep it up all that time. Because you, you know, have five minutes really left of computer time. Oh, and that's oh, that's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, bad seed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it felt really good to beat you though. I'm not gonna lie. That was like the best feeling ever <laughs> when I beat you. Okay, everyone. That that there was um, <laughs> me versus uh, Bad Seed. First person view of me smashing him. <laughs> so, um, anyone in the chat? Got anything they want to say to me about my accent because you're still not saying anything about the accent. I don't even know if I sound good or bad or anything. And this overlay's in the way so you guys can watch me browse. Oh, I didn't even type it right. No wonder. Reload. How do I get rid of PC overlay? Do I I can't alt wait for it. Where's the exit? <laughs> Where's the exit? Anybody know how to exit? Um Bird war thingy, my bobby, what you call it? That's not even connected anymore. How did that happen? I'm lagging, 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 lagging. Oh, oh, thank you, Chaos. <laughs> okay, uh, did that reload properly? Oh, that's not even the thing that was reloading. Here it is. Kind of keep tracking my stuff. <laughs> nice EVP. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, um, this here is, oh, you probably can't see it all anyway, but this is the, no, not that, d Um, I still don't know how to exit this overlay. I had the thing open in anyway, and I, yes. Anyway, the matches are finished, everybody, just so you know, if you just tuned in or something, but, um, I'll just show you the standings. So, the standings at the moment, Team Oracle Kings, who just got dominated Wait, how's that even possible? How have they got seven points and they have two losses? They have the second... well... That's confusing. 
Okay, so apparently winning doesn't really matter that much as long as you have a lot the most individual games won, which sort of sucks. Uh, let's see if I can scroll up so you guys can see. Um, huh. Okay, so if you can see it properly, Team Orkill Kings has got seven points, even though they have two losses, which I find a bit unfair. Anyway, um, they're the ones that the team that we just beat, and here's Stealth Bunnies coming in fourth place with five points, which is how many games we've won. That sucks. That actually does suck a bit because you should get a good reward for winning a match rather than just winning games individually. <sighs> anyway, um, Ace, Air Force Ace of Spades coming second, Courage coming third, Stealth Bunnies coming fourth, Despa coming fourth equal because we both have. Yeah, that sucks. Huh, <laughs> they've had like a 4 1 loss and then a 4 1 win. That's pretty cool. Victoria's Secret coming sixth, who we're playing against uh, this week or next week, depending on how you look at it. Oh, it's next week, I suppose, because it's Sunday and all. Uh, team 2 coming in at seventh place, and SK Telecom T3, which is the team which everyone said was rigged, coming in at bottom place. What do you know? Okay, let's have a look at this readme. It's 1.30 a.m. What's the time for you guys? Just tell me in the chat what time it is, because... Yeah, um... Alt F4 is closed apparently. Okay, let's try that again. Escape. Aha! I closed it. I'm a genius. Okay, <laughs> Dronka has got cool glasses. Uh, on. Um, yeah, let's have a look. I'll show you. Dronka has got cool glasses. <laughs> Why does Dronka get cool glasses? Can you guys see that? Dronka, you got cool glasses. Not gonna lie. So much hacks. Anyway, um, nine thirty in the morning. Oh, that's quite early. Um, huh? Yes. Yeah, so day. Okay. So week one, Stealth Bunny said a bye because this is the Stealth Bunny stream. Of course. Ha ha ha. Who cares about the other teams? <laughs> no, but I'm sorry, but um, anyway, we're casting all the teams, but mostly Stealth Bunnies matches because that's my team, and I don't have time for anything else. I'd t cast all of them if I did have time. Uh, Stealth Bunnies is not playing in the first week, or did not play in the first week, as neither did Courage because we both had a bye because of the way this league is set up. Um, second week we played against Ace and we lost two three. We won two games, lost three. Um, yeah, nothing to say there. I didn't play, I, so. 4.30 p.m. Why is the Marine swearing at me? Marine, don't swear at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did I do? <sighs> okay, um... And then, day, the, this is week three here, Stealth Bunnies versus Team Walker Kings, and we won 3-2. Oh yeah, feels so good. Feels so good about that. Dronk is telling me something about Birdie, and I, I don't understand because it's Belgish. Is that Belgiumish? Do Belgish people speak? Wait, is it Belgium or is it Bulgaria? I can't remember. I don't. Yes, I'm from New Zealand. Um, Dronka, what are you saying about me? I don't understand. Um, anyway, so d week four is Stuff Money's versus Victoria's Secret. Let's just have a quick look at their team line up. Alright, scouting the enemy team. Wah wah wah. It's not really enemies, they're pretty good dudes. I think Sion agreed as a team, he's a pretty cool dude. Bulgaria, oh, I'm sorry, the Marine, I don't know what BG stands for, it could have been Belgium. Okay, Bulgaria, Bulgaria, I'm sorry. What language, how do you say, do you say Bulgarish? Or how do you say your language? Okay, so, Jealous, aka Babo, Babo? Babo, I think it'd be Babo. Huh. Is um the leader of uh Victoria's Secret. Hey, I thought no no, maybe who's who does he I don't even remember. Oh that's right, um SKT three is the one with Silent Griever in it. Where is it? No Canadians apparently. Um So we got Keed Cuddy. I don't like your name, I'm sorry. Uh Minsk Inbu. That's yeah okay. Um, Gorg, 
and laxer cannon. And conversion, I don't think it's playing anymore, because, yeah. Bulgaria. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not Bulgaria, it's Bulgaria. Was I mispronouncing that? That's bad. Um, someone in the chat is singing. <laughs> Stop it, chaos. Don't sing. Spare us the agony. Ah, yeah, here it is. So here's the stacks team. This is the stack team. It's got Espy, um, Razor with Razor Yiv, and um, Ayu, aka Taeyon, Taeyon, and Protosu and Psionic Reaver. And these guys are all like D plus. Everyone was like, oh, oh, biased, overpowered, and then they're like bottom of the rankings. Um, so yeah, anyone that's just tuned in, uh, we've already finished the cast, you can watch the VODs, but yeah, we've finished the cast already, um, and I'm just chatting and randomly talking about stuff to myself and hoping that people will respond in chat, which would be fun, because like, it'd be like viewer interaction, which is what all the cool streamers do. I have energy drink. Rockstar Punch Energy Plus Guava. That's delicious. The mango one's nicer though. Rockstar Juiced is nicer. But they're both pretty nice energy drinks. And the original Rockstar sucks. So, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, those are two of the teams. I hope you guys can see those teams, because it would be unfortunate. Anyway, the season, week four is next week. Well, this week. Next week. It's next week. In a few days, anyway. And after that, we've got SKT Telecom T3. The overpowered team is coming last. We're going to all kill them, of course. We're going to all kill Victoria's Secret. Um, we got another buy. Oh, that sucks. Another buy. Two buys. That's overpowered. Okay. Um, yeah, we got... <sighs> and then where were we? Uh, we're going to buy there. So we're playing against Desper there. We're going to all kill them. And Courage, we're going to all kill them. Calling it now. Stealth Bunny is all killing every single person. You want me to show you the PM? I'll show you the PM. Oh. Hey, what? No. But my stream is up, though. It's lying to you. It's lying to you. Dronka. Hi, Dronka. You're a cool dude. Yeah, everyone, I got a PM from teal.net bot. How many of you have got a PM from him? Not many, if any. Not many, if any. Wonder if I take you home. Would you still be in love, baby? You want to see my awesome graphics? Ha <laughs> ha! Stealth Bunnies win! Victory! Victory! And you are not seeing my PM because it's hidden. Ha ha ha! By that awesome graphic. Ah, I see. Ah, okay. The PM's not that interesting anyway. I'm gonna put this stream back online. Yes. Subscribe threads. BWCL. You guys been watching the TSL one? That is the Torrent Hire Star League. It's a pretty cool Star League, not gonna lie. Anyway, guys, I'm actually going to stop casting about now because I'm sure you're all bored of it listening to me talk to myself and you. And it is 1:38 p.m. I mean a.m. Sorry. And well, chaos. Were you really seeing Justin Bieber in the chat? That's just terrible. 
Anyway, so I will be casting again after. Let's have a think. So Sunday slash Monday is the next match against Victoria's Secret, and I'll be casting matches after that. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, Monday, not Monday, not Tuesday. Uh, no, not Tuesday. Definitely not Tuesday. Okay, so Nick. So this time next week, I will try and cast the entire series, and hopefully, it'll be slightly better prepared so that we can do them in one Thursday. Let me think. It's it's Wednesday for you guys. What's today? It's Wednesday, I think, for like Americans and Europeans and stuff. Someone in the chat tell me what, what day it is. I'm too tired to think about what day it is. It's Thursday. No, it's it's Friday. It's Friday morning for me. I have work in the evening, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, so next next week, same day as this. I'll be casting Stealth Bunnies versus Victoria's Secret. And I'll have my graphics prepare better so that we'll be able to do it in one stretch with instead of stopping and starting doing. And so that does that have any message from dot net bot about not doing stuff right. Sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Heartbroken man, heartbroken. Um so yeah, thank you all for watching and it'd be absolutely awesome if you actually let let people know that I do stream and that hey how come I'm not featured <laughs> I'm not featured not even on the stream list how does that work that's just cheating okay so um yeah thank you all for watching and let people know about the stream next week and like get heaps of hype and stuff so you guys can see me cast again apparently my voice is mildly adequate for streaming and such so yeah, if you want to see me, see me stream again, get people to call it, to come in and have a look. Wow, do I have six viewers? Oh, six whole viewers, it's incredible. Um, subscribe, I'll probably put these on YouTube when I work out how to do the whole YouTube to um, Twitch, to, uh, Twitch TV to YouTube thingy. Um, hmm. Marine reckons he's going to get put in the top five Protoss list. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Uh, and we've got spam advertising in the um, thing. Yes, I know it's you, Chaos, but don't spam in my stream chat. Well, don't advertise, sorry. Um, yep, so I'll be back next week at the same time, approximately, which is like, how long ago was that? One, two, two and a half, two, three hours ago, and I'll start from then, and I'll stream straight through all five games, assuming I have all the replays by then. Okay, peace out. See you guys next time. As um, oh no, I can't say that. I'm sorry. I will. S I will not see you guys next time, but I'll see your names in the chat, and you'll listen to my voice speaking as we cast D ranks Team League action. Congratulations to all the Steam. But Team Stealth Bunnies, I can't even say the name right. Team Stealth Bunnies for winning against Team All Kill Kings. 3-2. Represent.